Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Brick stitch is a really fun technique and we have lots of resources for how to do brick stitch. We've got this excellent PDF diagram. I've got a link to it in my video description. It tells you how to start off the brick stitch with a ladder stitch, how to decrease a row, how to increase a row, how to do special turns, all of that. So this is a great one to um, print out and keep handy. <laughs> Thank you. I love that little squirrel too. Um, and we also have videos for how to do brick stitch, step-by-step um, -step instructions with photos for each step. We have lots of resources for this. So um, lots of uh, different ways to learn and I'm gonna kind of show you uh, how to do brick stitch today too as well because it's one of my favorite stitches. And as you can see, you can do so much with this stitch. It is so much fun to dream up all kinds of different designs with the brick stitch. Um, all kinds of different ways you can take it. <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna thread my needle and I will show you how to do the brick stitch. And I have um, these big cube beads so you can see what to do. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna thread my needle really quick. So let's see if I can do it extra speedy. And I try and do it on camera, but I can't see that far away. <laughs> so I kind of have to put it closer to my face. All right, so I've got my needle threaded and I'm going to start my brick stitch. So to start brick stitch, you're going to want to first form a row of ladder stitch. Um, so no matter how many beads are in your row, you're going to start with two beads to start the ladder stitch. So you're going to thread those on and you can add a stopper bead to the end, to the tail of your thread. I probably will add a tiny little bead stopper um, just so my beads don't fall off but once you've got that first row formed you're not gonna need a you're not gonna need a stopper bead okay so I've got my two uh, seed beads on there so then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna come up through that first seed bead that you added and you're gonna pull tight and that's going to uh, make the beads line up next to each other so they're going to be together like this and their stringing holes are pointing up um, and you can go back down through the second bead to kind of reinforce that so that's the start of your ladder and then you're going to add uh, each bead in the row one by one from there so i've got i'm going to add another bead and then you just come down through that last bead oh my needle came unthreaded oh that's always sad because then you have to re-thread it so just pull tight and then that'll line up with that bead um, so they kind of line up like rungs in a ladder that's why it's called the ladder stitch and I have to uh re-thread my needle <laughs> I do that a lot um when you're pulling uh it gets caught on things and then comes undone. So I've gotten really good at threading needles. There we go, we're back in business. Okay, and I'm gonna add a few more beads to this row so I can show you how the brick stitch goes. So you've added that bead, you're gonna come back up through the bead because my, uh, my needle's coming down through that second bead. I wanna be back in that last bead, so I go back up. All right, I'm gonna add a couple more. We'll have five beads in this row. So add your bead, go up. You're kind of looping around to add that next bead. All right, I've got that bead added. Come back down through the last bead added. And I'm gonna add one more to this starting row. Loop up and down and then back up through the last bead added. Okay, so we've got five beads on that starting row. So brick stitch is just alternating 
increasing and decreasing rows. Um, so to start the next row, you're either going to have to increase the stitch or brick or <laughs> brick stitch, increase the stitch or decrease the stitch, depending on what you want to do with it. Um, so I am going to increase the stitch, and I will show you how to do that. So to increase the stitch to start a new row, you're going to pick up two beads. Now you can kind of see here that um, between each of these beads, there's like a little bridge of thread. So to increase the row, you wanna come through that first bridge of thread. So your needle is gonna come under that bridge and it's gonna be that first one. And then you're gonna pull, 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 pull. And then um, you want to line them up like little bricks. <laughs> so I've got those beads lined up nicely. Now remember, my thread is under that bridge. So I'm going to come back up through that uh, last bead. And that will just reinforce the stitch and get me lined up to continue this row. So I'm going to add one more bead from now on in the row. So I pick up one bead, come through that next bridge over. Pull tight, it's lining up like a little brick. Come back up through the bead. And voila! <laughs> so you're going to continue that until you get to the end of the row. And we're going to increase on both sides. You can end on a decrease, you can end on an increase. I will show you how to end on an increase here. Um, pick up another one, go through that last bridge, and up through the bead. Okay, now you could end here and end the row on a decrease if that's what your pattern calls for, if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm going to end on an increase. So all you do for that is pick up your last increase bead, and you're going to go through that same bridge that you already went through. So this one you can't really see because my bead's covering it, but I can feel it and I'm going to go through that bridge of thread and pull tight. See that? And then up through the bead. I love brick stitch. It's so fun. <laughs> so there we go. I've got a row that has increased on both sides. Um, now I'm going to show you how to add a decreased row. And so a basic brick stitch is just alternating between increase and decrease. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. So I pick up two beads. Now to do a decrease, I'm not going to come through this bridge. I'm going to go to the second bridge over and bring my needle through that bridge. And that's going to start the row on a decrease. And then you come up through that second bead. And hello, we've got a decrease. <laughs> so then you just continue the row as normal. So go through that bridge, pull tight, and then up through the bead. And when you go up through that bead, make sure you're not accidentally catching that bridge because I've done that before. It'll just make your bead fall right off because you just undid your bridge step. Uh, but it happens, and if that happens, you just uh, keep keep going, do it again. Um, add a bead, go through your bridge, and up again. And then to end on a decrease, super easy. Just go through that last bridge, pull tight, and up through the bead. And then you're ended. You've ended on a decrease. Um, and let's say, so for a lot of these fun shaped patterns, there's going to be times where like you're, incre you're increasing, but then you're also adding extra to kind of make those crazy shapes like this. So how you do that, so let's say I need to add extra to my increase. So I am going to add my increase here, go through that first bridge, go up through my seed bead. So let's say I need like one or two extra on this side to kind of make the shape I'm making. All you do is kind of just a modified ladder stitch. Um, so you would go down through that bead and then add an extra 
in the ladder stitch technique. Like that. So that's an easy way of adding extra beads. And if you need to add two, you can. That's the fun thing about brick stitch is just weaving through the beads and adding here and there, you can make almost any shape that you want. So that's really fun. And then come back down and then you're ready to continue your row this way. Um, so that's basically it for brick stitch. Um, super easy. Um, really fun. It does work up quite quickly, um, especially when you're using big beads like this with the smaller beads. It'll take some time, but really fun stitch. And you can create all of these designs. Now, these designs over here are on our website, artbeads.com. I will show you this. So this is um, just a basic brick stitch. But what I've done is I've used different bead shapes and sizes to create this really cool texture. I've got Toho Demi rounds in here. I've got bugle beads. There's some hex beads, some triangle beads, all kinds of different beads in this brick stitch. And then, of course, I added some fringe because I uh, always got to have more fringe. So really fun. This just looks like a Cleopatra queen necklace. <laughs> So fun, and we have some bracelet ideas for how uh, for this kind of technique as well. Um, this is a kit that we sell actually for Christmas. Cute little brick stitch gnome and his gnome home mushroom and a cute little dear friend. Um, so we do have a kit. It, it comes with all of the instructions, supplies that you need to make these cute little guys. And then you can turn them into little Christmas ornaments or little pins to wear, necklaces, whatever. Um, so, so cute. Love that. Yay! I'm so glad that you are learning new things, Teresa. I hope that that little demo helped you. I love making little uh, collar chains with brick stitch. I made these cute little squirrels with t tiny little brick stitch uh, dangles, acorn dangles. So cute. And then I just stitched pins on the back. Um, so sweet. I love these. And we do have our seed bead graph paper. So you can come up with cute little patterns like this as well. So, so fun. I love them. And then after I made these, I found a shirt with like the exact same squirrel pattern on <laughs> So I had to buy the shirt. It matched so perfectly. Sherry made these to represent um, these kitties that she rescued. Um, so each one is custom to look like her kitties. And then she added them to a special charm bracelet. I think that's such a sweet idea. So cute. Um, fun little shapes on these earrings here. Just cute little flowers. I've made a pineapple. We've got a pattern for this in our design studio. Again, I put a pin on the back so you could wear it anywhere. This is a cute little purse charm. I mean, you can come up with all kinds of patterns for this technique. It's so fun. You can also do brick stitch um, around hoops like this or around beads and then build off of that. So that's really fun too. So, so cute. And then, of course, we have these wonderful brick stitch uh, increase and then decrease diamonds with fun little tassels. And then I've made a lot of uh, fun. Here's another cute little pin set that I made. A watering can and a bouquet of flowers with a chain that represents the water flowering, watering the flowers. So cute. Again, they're on pins. Um, so sweet. And I've made a lot of, I've, I've really had fun with brick stitch. So these are on my, my Instagram page. Uh, these are just personal projects. I made, um, one of the centaurs from Fantasia because that movie is really beautiful and I love the centaurs. So I made a little brick stitch centaur. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty and I have a, a Christmas ornament of of this centaur so I just love her and then I made this cute little ballerina butterfly isn't she sweet so cute again all brick stitch super easy to just go row by row and make whatever kind of shape you want I made this little fun uh, crescent moon with flowers I love this I want to add some fringe to this one I think that would be a lot of fun I've made a carousel cute for Christmas. 
um, and cute little houses. I've made a couple houses to make a cute little brick stitch village. So what I want to do with some of these is glue some magnets on the back so I can uh, make little scenes on a magnetic board or something. I think that would be a lot of fun. I made this uh, to kind of commemorate my trip to Sydney, Australia when I went. That was fun. <laughs> so cute. I've made earrings. I've just, I go to town with Brick Stitch. I'll make anything with Brick Stitch. I love it so much. <laughs> so it really is super easy. As you can see, we have lots of inspiration um, in our design studio. These all have patterns and instructions and a supplies list. We have an excellent PDF diagram for how to do the stitch that you can print out and keep handy. We have great Art Beads Cafe episodes about Brick Stitch. We have video tutorials, step-by-step -step tutorials. We have everything you need to get started with Brick Stitch, including seed beads. So uh, check out this technique if you haven't yet. It is a lot of fun and you can do almost anything with it. That's why it's one of my favorite uh, techniques. <laughs> love, love, love Brick Stitch.